for the first win in seven attempts. Uh, speaking early in the week, he says there was games in that set that they should have won, not could have won. Now they've got to play some catch-up. Maybe they can do it with Jody Broughton down that left-hand side, runs straight into Grix, who manhandles him to the ground on the 20-metre line. Nathan Brown, of course, he'll be looking for getting the possession. He feels he's got the pack of forwards to go down the middle against the Reds. This is the last set of the set for Salford. They'll keep it alive. Acrobatic pass towards Broughton, who spills it. Oh, has he spilt it? Has he... The exiles that Brough got injured last year against Castleford and missed his chance to play for England in that game. He's certainly very much in the frame. Their confirmation, England versus exiles, game one. 6.30 p.m. on Saturday, June the 16th. Join us for that, and game two is at Huddersfield. And the first game is at Langley Park St. Helens. It's Kevin Brown going through a gap, and Kevin Brown has put the Huddersfield Giants on the score sheet. Direct, they're penetrating the defensive line. Salford have never won a Magic Weekend match, and they're in trouble again here. This time Wardle is looking for George. George hugging the touchline. Wardle, I think, was expecting him to come inside. Wardle hands it on to Danny Brock, and Danny Brock through. Super try by the Huddersfield Giants. In the competition, five out of five, and they will take on Bradford in the next game. Right now, they were watching Lee Jewett take it forward for Salford, trying to get back on level terms. Here is Stuart Howarth at dummy half with Wayne Godwin on the sidelines, their regular hooker. Patton comes into the line, must be a try, is a try for Salford. A second. Need the possession, and you hold it for a while. They've got the kicking game with the likes of Danny Bruff. He'll be furious with Nathan Brown. As Palongo has just come up off the bench, looking to make an immediate impact. Well, he has made an impact, but not in the way he wanted to. He's handed Salford possession here, and Patton does well. And Gleeson, he's got him out outside him. He might not need him. Here goes Gleeson, and he scored for Salford. Sean Gleeson. Yeah, and that was a professional foul, no doubt about it in my mind. Well, actually, they benefited from that, haven't they, in blowing the whistle? Because Huddersfield, the play was still on, and they were still moving at pace. They might have well scored, but he pulled them back. They've got another set, but they feel they should be playing 13 against 12 right now for the remaining five minutes of this half and the first five of the second. They may score anyway. Holdsworth, they've got a man wide. They should score. They have scored. They deserve the try. They've got the try. Jody Broughton. And 30 seconds in which to use them. Bruff is all wrapped up in a big bear hug by Stephen Wilde. Monstrous tackle, and Vinnie Anderson came in and, with the assist. And there again, it was a poor pass to him. You know, when you've got the man who can create all sorts of things, you've got to make sure the pass is good. It wasn't, it was above his head, and he got crunched. Grix, he's flipped the pass away. They're going to get the try. It's a try. He went left instead of right, and the... They've denied him. Good offload. Must have the numbers out wide. It may not matter because Falongo has uh, taken two Salford City Reds down with him. Robinson, all the pressure. It looks a trifle forward. It looks like a try now for mine. I believe it. Robinson was on there, was on hand. And they're going panicky now. Well, some of the decision making when they've made the break has been perplexing to say the very least they've still got the field position and they've still got the possession well i think we've got to give credit to salford there for pulling back in in, in support in defense just took off the pass line and maybe the uh, the words of uh, of nathan brown ringing in the ears of the giants crabtree for a second in two minutes crabtree has he got a yes. second has he backed the brace yes he has the gap was closed Wait, no, robinson no. making the tackle two. knocking on the door here Three decent sets on the trot here for the Salford City Reds. They are starting to turn the ball over on their own terms. Maybe there's life in Salford yet in this game. Maybe they've been written off a little prematurely after conceding those three consecutive tries. Neat little move from Holdsworth to Moon. He loses his footing, gets back on his feet. He's got the try pass. He's got the try assist to Jody Broughton. And takes the tackle. Smith involved once more. This time it's Jewett, ever present this season for the Salford City Reds. Close to the try line. A couple of tackles left. Remember, they only trail by a couple of points here, the Salford uh, City Reds. They switch it to the other side. Just half a chance that Sydney is catching out. He's got it down. Teased and, and ribbed about it in the changing room. If they lose this game, he just won't want to be in the changing room because that would have won Salford the game. They may still have the game won. They may not, though, because there's a try at the other end for Danny Brock and Salford, who should have been in front by 10 points. And... Last tackle for Salford. Under five minutes left. Matty Smith, a great ball. Sidlow! You've seen that move before. Sidlow has stretched out that telescopic arm.